Hi, my name is Dr. John Duyard. I'd like to talk to you about a study that we performed back in the summer of 2014 on how to increase the diversity of your microbiome. Now, we all know, and science has pretty well confirmed this, that the more diverse the bugs in your gut, the healthier you are. Diversity means you have a different array of bacteria. It's pretty clear that the Western microbiome is lacking in what's called microbial diversity. We have good guys, bad guys, and neutral guys. The neutral guys are like spectators. They watch the game, but they don't engage in either good or bad behavior. And in our culture, we have way too many spectators and not enough good guys that can outperform the bad guys. So the idea to increase microbial diversity is to see if you can create, get microbes to stick to the gut wall and actually deliver new permanent residents in your gut. So to do this, we, we sent 10 folks to Europe on a two week vacation. They just ate sort of the European diet. And when they came back, they all had new microbes in their gut that they didn't have before. On average, about 116 new bugs. Most of them lost a significant amount of bugs too, so they didn't really see a huge change in their diversity, although they all came back with something new. Now, to make this study sort of more interesting, we had half the group take a colonizing probiotic during their trip, and half the group took no probiotic. The probiotic we use is the one that I use in my practice called Florastore, which is the Bifidobacteria HN019, which is one of the only probiotics that I've seen that has hard science that says that it literally adheres to the gut wall, and studies show that it will deliver more new permanent residents in your gut, microbial diversity. So I wanted to prove, I mean, I've seen the studies, they're on my website, you can read them, but I really wanted to see if that actually really happened. So we had this group take their, their uh, their uh, microbiome before and after, took these probiotics, half the group did, half the group didn't, and we saw what happened. So what was really interesting was that when they came back, um, the, 100% of the group that took the probiotics that weren't taking probiotics before actually saw a significant amount of beneficial lactobacillus proliferating in their gut as permanent residents. And when we actually looked at the overall microbial diversity, 60% of the group saw a significant microbial diversity when they took the colonizing probiotic, the, the flora restorer, the HN019 bifidobacteria, and only 33% of the group that didn't take the probiotic saw increased microbial diversity. So this was really interesting. I was very excited about it. I said, well, this is good. At least I now know when I'm telling my patients that we can actually increase their microbial diversity. I've actually seen it firsthand. Yes, it is a pilot study, small group, but we also have studies that are on my website that you can read about that shows that there were other studies done that prove that these bugs literally adhere to the gut wall and support the growth of new diversity uh, in your intestinal tract. Now, 90 9.9% .9 of the probiotics on the market, okay, they are what are called transient. You take them, they go through you, and there's good science to show that they actually have beneficial effects. And very few are actually considered to be really colonizing where they have science to show that they stick to the gut wall. I was, you know, we've been using probiotics for 30 years. And I was never a huge fan of long-term use because I never like to give something to someone that they're gonna to have to be on for the rest of their life. I wanna see if we can get this body to be self-sufficient. That's sort of our, one of our major goals here at LifeSpa. So, I, was, so I, I never really bought into the whole probiotic thing until I actually saw science that showed that we can actually get them to colonize and make permanent residence. And that clearly is my goal, is to bring the intestinal tract back into balance, heal the skin and the environment of the intestinal tract so they can proliferate good bugs and good microbes provide them with foods and, and digesting those foods so we can actually, again, proliferate good microbes, and then support them with probiotics that will actually colonize and develop a stable of, of microbes that will actually support optimal health and actually knock down the amount of spectators we have in our gut. There's nothing wrong with, with the transient you know, uh, probiotics that are on the market. They work great, although a lot of scientists and a lot of disbelievers say that these probiotics get broken down in your stomach acid, and it's pretty clear according to our study that these probiotics did not get broken down by stomach acid, we saw significant increases, 100% of the folks taking the probiotics saw increases 
a significant increases of different types of lactobacillus, which we know are very, very good bacteria. So clearly, these probiotics actually make it through the stomach acid, through the bile, into your gut, and the colonizing ones, the bifidobacteria, HN019, has been, seems to be very effective in developing what we're, we're really after here in the West, is uh, restoring our microbial diversity. So please check out the article, or actually cite the science. We're gonna write this, this study up here soon, and you'll be able to read the entire study. Thanks for listening. I'm Dr. John Duyard. Hi, did you like this video? Do you like our content here at Life Spa? You can subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash John Duyard right here, and get this valuable content every week in your inbox. This recording is brought to you by Life Spa where ancient Ayurvedic wisdom meets modern science. Get access to free health video newsletters by Dr. John at lifespa.com. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. These products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease.